Listen, we do not treat God's offering sloppy. sloppy. We take the right amount of time and we take the offering right because it is holy unto the Lord. And don't put up with this junk they're doing in the 21st century where they treat money in the church wrong or they treat preachers who ask for money wrong. No, it is what we're supposed to do. I'm one of the bold ones out here. All you business people, even you secular business people who got multi-million dollar uh, businesses, do you not know the priests, the Levites, God told Israel, the people who had businesses and worked every day, that you were supposed to give 10% to the Levites, to the house of God. You should be excited to give God your finances and your offering. You know, I have not missed one day of tithing since I got saved. And that is the truth. I have never had to repent to God. God, oh, forgive me for taking your money. Forgive me for being tempted because I need it. And believe me, I needed money at times. But I never in my mind, never even entertained the thought of not giving God his 10% first and an offering. And now these are teaching people that they shouldn't tithe. They shouldn't give offerings and tithe. You are robbing God. Someone just had a visitation from Jesus in heaven and he took them to hell and showed many people in hell. I'm talking about Christians who didn't pay their tithes. Because the Bible says thieves cannot get into the kingdom of heaven. And God says in Malachi, you rob me when you don't pay tithes. You rob me and the whole nation. So you business people who don't, you want to give all your money to charities and, and to, to uh, 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 some kind of animal stuff. And I, and I love the animals. I'll never treat the animals cruel. I love the animals more than you do. But that ain't where God tell you to give your money. He don't tell you to give it to a freaking charity, giving hundreds of millions of dollars to a, a darn charity that has nothing to do with God. God commanded Israel. This is how the nation operates. Those who work, they pay into God's house where the priests are, who are on their knees and on their face for you continually. And that's one reason why people got so many problems, because they will not pay tithes. They will not give God his. The, the nation has turned around from a system that God set up and have set their own system up. Oh, well, we'll just give it to charities. No, you're supposed to give 10% to God. Well, I can give it to a nonprofit charity. Church is just like, it's a nonprofit charity. I can give it to another. No, when you give it to the church, when you give it to God's house or to a ministry like this or a movement like this, this is just bigger than a church. We have churches in this movement. But when you give it to a movement like this and you bring it into God's house, that's obedience. I'm so sick of this generation trying to change God's order. We must do it his way. That's so much rebellion in the church. Everybody want to do things their way. Why won't you study the heart of God? You've got a lot of leaders who are preaching now that tithing is wrong and that it's an Old Testament scripture. It's an Old Testament covenant. That's false. Jesus confirmed tithing just like he confirmed the house of God. He said, my house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations. God confirmed the church in the New Testament. And he confirmed tithing to the Jews. He says, you tithe aniseed and all these other things you tithe. He says, these things ought to you to have done and not the left, left, left the rest undone. He says, you do all these other things, but you forget the weightier matters of the law. But he says, you should, he says, you should be doing the most important things in the word and not leaving your tithe undone at the same time. You're tithing, but you're not doing this over here. Jesus confirmed tithing in the New Testament. God says, when you don't pay tithes and offerings, you rob me. Even this whole nation, you rob me. And then in the New Testament, it says, we know that no infeminate person, that's homosexuals and faggots. We know that no infeminate person will enter into heaven, nor thieves. Just like God said, liars can't get in, thieves can't get in either. If you're stealing God's money, stop it. If you're stealing and not paying tithe, repent. You must. Are you hearing me? 
I have not missed one day of tithing to God for 30 years. Not one day. As a matter of fact, I get my tithes taken out on automated. I don't even look at my money before I give God his money. It comes out instantly. I don't play games. You cannot be close to him and, and, and will not obey like this. You be ashamed of him, he be ashamed of you. You are ashamed to teach people about tithing because it's going to make you look bad in the 21st century, especially this wicked American generation who are always trying to put preachers on front street who they think is after money. That's all a, another ploy to deceive you all, to make you not obey. Don't listen to these heathens. That's what they are. They're going to get you in hell just like where they're going. Stop listening to CNN and other new syndicates that cut down men of God. YouTube that cut down men of God. People who are always talking against men of God. They are on their way to hell. They want to say how many false prophets they are, but they don't know that they are the ones on the way to hell for speaking evil. Don't be like them. Don't get involved. Obey God. Now I want all of you to lift your hands wherever you are. Lift your hands wherever you are right now. I'm going to say this. If you get upset when money is talked about in the church, something is wrong with your spirit. You are something wrong. You're evil. I have never one day in 30 years, whenever I went to a service and it was offering time, I don't care what preacher it was, I never got upset when an offering was taken. I was so happy to give. I was so happy to give. But this generation is trying to make it like it's an evil thing to give. Or you got to look at somebody out of the side of your eyes. You ain't giving to that person on the stage. You're giving to the Lord. That's how you need to look at it. Lift your hands right now and tell God you will never be a thief anymore if you have been. You say, God, I will never withhold your tithes. I'll never withhold what belongs to you.